Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Kesha truly went all out to celebrate her new song, Joyride, with a wild performance in Atlantic City. The Take It Off singer marked Independence Day by dropping her new single on July 4th and took to the stage at the Hard Rock Casino. The 37-year-old looked incredible as she appeared in Atlantic City in a sparkly outfit, before holding up a black t-shirt with the word, free, across the front in glitter. Things took a turn when she picked up a string of props midway through the performance as she wielded a huge knife during one song, but it is currently unclear why she did so. At one point, she swapped the knife for a sanitary pad, adorned with the word, C asterisk 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 asterisk, in black marker. As you do. Kesha has a lot to get excited about at the moment as Joyride marks her first new music since leaving Dr. Luke's record label, following their long-running legal battle. In 2014, the Die Young superstar alleged that the music producer drugged and raped her in a civil lawsuit, accusations he denied. He then sued her for defamation, claiming that she fabricated the allegation to get out of her recording contract from Chemisade Records. After years of bitter legal disputes, they reached a resolution in 2023 shortly before they were due to go to trial. Kesha and Dr. Luke have agreed to a resolution of the lawsuit, and have agreed to issue and post a joint statement regarding that resolution, they said in a message at the time. Only God knows what happened that night, Kesha added on Instagram. As I have always said, I cannot recount everything that happened. I am looking forward to closing the door on this chapter of my life and beginning a new one. I wish nothing but peace to all parties involved. While I appreciate Kesha again acknowledging that she cannot recount what happened that night in 2005, I am absolutely certain that nothing happened, Dr. Luke added. I never drugged or assaulted her and would never do that to anyone. What happened to Zac Efron's face and did he have plastic surgery? Paul Mescal, seen sniffing suspicious substance from Key at Glastonbury. Stunning A-list actress, 31, looks unrecognizable and scruffy on set of new film. Iconic 70s singer Mary's fiancé after being together for 47 years. For the sake of my family, I have vigorously fought to clear my name for nearly 10 years. It is time for me to put this difficult matter behind me and move on with my life. I wish Kesha well. Following the ordeal, Kesha has now released Joyride, which has been described as joyous and upbeat. Don't even try to give me s asterisk 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 t. I've earned the right to be like this, she sang in the track. Joy ride, joy ride, I'm just looking for a good time tonight. More, Beyonce's waxwork in Paris is unrecognizable as fans ask, who is that white woman? More, we'll never have a pop culture moment as iconic as this, and it was 20 years ago. More, Brad Pitt is aging in reverse as he reveals spiky new hairdo for F1 film.